So, I had an idea for a video. I dug up this really old computer that I had sitting around. And I was like, oh yeah, cool. I should, I should try overclocking this. And I didn't really have much knowledge about the computer at all. I didn't even know if it would turn on. But I was like, come on. How bad can it be? The worst that's gonna happen is, you know, I have to replace a hard drive or something or whatever, you know? So I got a water cooler, got the computer. I turn it on and it boots up actually, surprisingly. Everything works fine, so great. I try seeing if I can maybe get a fresh install of Windows on it. It's running Windows XP though, which isn't bootable from a USB drive. So long story short, I end up not being able to do a fresh install of Windows, but that's okay. I can still overclock it, right? Well, wrong. <laughs> so I checked the BIOS. There's no options to overclock or change the clock speed or anything like that on there, which I'm like, okay, I kind of expected that actually. And that's okay. Then I look into some different software options for overclocking. Um, there's a software called set FSB that a lot of people used way back then. Turns out because this is an Intel motherboard, it's completely locked down. There's no way to overclock it in anywhere in the software. So I wasn't going to give up yet though. I decided to look into it a little further. So I did a little more research and it turned out there's actually ways to overclock via hardware through something called a Bissell mod. I'm probably saying that wrong. Anyway, I try that. So I take out my CPU to take a look at it. Unfortunately, my CPU has pins on it rather than on the motherboard. So rather than just being able to put pieces of tape over the little pads on the CPU, I actually have to either break off CPU pins or wrap them in something and enlarge the hole in the CPU socket on the motherboard. So I spend a lot of time researching what pins I need to modify on this and if I can pull this off and from everything I can find, it seems like I should be able to make this work. No problem. I was able to find some people who have done this kind of thing before and I asked them what their advice was on it. And from every conversation I had had, it seemed like I should be able to pull this off. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. I spent hours modifying this little thing. I was super careful trying to break off just a single CPU pin and was able to only break off just that one and not damage any of the other ones. And then I had to put this tiny hair width wire, drop it between two of the holes on the, on the CPU socket. And so I try that and I'm not getting anything. No display output, no beeps from the motherboard. It just starts up and nothing. So I tried everything I possibly could and I went way in depth on this. I ended up spending too much time on it, honestly. Turns out at the end of this, there's nothing I can really do at this point. I was really hoping I could overclock this and as usual for me, I bit off more than I could chew. And that's the norm for me. I kind of like doing that. I like to get an idea where either no one's done it before or I find there's a way to do something that no one really thought of doing it before or even finding something that someone else has done but that I have no experience with whatsoever and then just give myself a crash course on it and see how far I can go with it. And I don't necessarily expect myself to come out with a great quality result usually. Sometimes it's not even an adequate quality result, but I just love the process of taking something that I have no knowledge of or that no one has done before and just exploring it out and learning everything I can about it. Because in that process, I gain new skills and I learn new lessons that are either lost to time or just not well known. And so I love sharing that too. That's why I make these videos. I find something cool that I want to explore, I want to try out, and I try to share the lessons I learn along the way from it. And just share what I find. I think
think that's a lot of the fun of it and that's why I make these videos. So far I've had results I can share every single time. Unfortunately in this case all I was able to share was that it didn't work and pretty much the main lesson I learned here was just that overclocking in the early 2000s was a nightmare and I mean I've seen obviously I'm working with the worst case possible here with a motherboard that just is completely locked down that doesn't let you even overclock via via software in any way but that was pretty common back then and so I don't know I feel like I kind of let you down a little bit just because I don't have a lot of interesting stuff to share here and because I spent all my time this week trying to make this happen I got down to the wire and I didn't have time to edit in any fun jokes or memes or anything like that so I'm sorry for the poor planning on my part on that I try and hold myself to a higher standard than that and I want to give you guys the best quality content and something entertaining and also hopefully break down some interesting concepts in a way that's understandable and engaging but I guess I kind of failed on this one all I can say is I'm gonna keep trying and I'm gonna keep trying out new ideas I have and as as long as I have ideas that I care about I'm going to make videos about them and share them with you guys just I guess I gotta I guess I have no other option but to level with you that I'm not always going to have a super fun video and I guess I'm not sure if I should just go without making a video when this happens or if I should share the failures that I have like this with you and show you that it doesn't always work out when I just throw myself at an idea like this with no prior knowledge. So I don't know. I just figured I owed it to you to share these thoughts with you and share what I was what I found trying to pull this off. I wish I had some kind of interesting result or at least could have fried the CPU. I tried that actually after all of this just cuz I was <laughs> at the at, at a loss for what I could what kind of content I could give here, but unfortunately this auto shut off as a safety feature because I guess Intel were on their game in that way back then at least so anyway I do have something fun planned for the future though I've been trying to make a video every single week just with the ideas that I have but certain things that I work on are take a lot of effort and to take a lot of time so I'm not sure I kind of want to ask you guys what you would like to see because at some point, I'm not going to be able to keep making a video every week on a new project or on some on a different concept every single time. Either I'm going to have to take breaks while I'm working on something or make smaller videos just of short updates, just showing, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is where I'm at in that process and kind of smaller bite-sized videos. I'm a little hesitant to try something like that just because I don't want to take away of the quality from I don't want to take away from the quality of the videos I make by trying to milk one concept for as many videos as possible. That's never what I would want to do here. My goal is just to find cool concepts and share them in an entertaining way. So with all that said, I guess, what would you rather have? Would you rather have a little bit more time between the videos and have them polished to the best I possibly can and one video per topic? Or would you rather I break it down into a couple videos as I work through each of the different projects? Let me know what you think for my next video. I don't know how soon I'm gonna be able to put it up, but I'm planning on just buying a really old like Xeon build because those can be pretty cheap used. I'll probably throw it into this case actually just because it's kind of fun having a sleeper case like this. But 
what I, once I throw it in there, my goal is I want to try making a search engine. Just go through all the steps of how it was a search engine built and how high quality of results can you get from a search engine just running on one computer from a home internet. I think that'll be a lot of fun, honestly. I'm kind of excited about that idea. And it's something I know I can pull off. I have a little more experience working with software than I do with hardware. I think it just naturally my mind can conceptualize software side of things a little better than the hardware. I still like working on hardware builds, but I think I have a harder time saving a project when it goes belly up like what it did with this one. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, then I guess give it a thumbs up, but if you don't like it, feel free to thumbs down. If you enjoyed it, share it with someone you know, and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching.